Christ. Amen. It is well in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I give you all the glory and lift up your name on I this hour in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Daddy, have your way this hour in the mighty name of Jesus. Glorify Jesus Christ in our life today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Lord. More of you, Lord, and less of me in the name of Jesus. Prove yourself this very hour, Lord, in our lives today in the name of Jesus. Let there be testimony, O Lord. Devil, you are not permitted to breathe right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. You are permitted to move right now in the name of the Lord. This hour is declared as the Holy Ghost hour in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every power in the kingdom of hell, I bind you this hour in the name of Jesus. Thank you, ever living Father. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The joy of the Lord is our strength in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome to Sunday Online. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, service online today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I strongly believe by this time next week, Sunday, uh, the church is open in France. Hallelujah. 
and I will be around uh, by the special grace of God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. To God be all the glory, great things He has done in our lives, in your lives as well, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The joy of the Lord is our strength in the name of Jesus. To all the members of VRM and those who are not members, I really do want to appreciate you in the name of Jesus. And it is well within the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. God richly bless every single one of you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. What a faithful God we serve in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Father Lord, once again, I just want to thank you for this very hour. Be thou glorified, Lord. Holy Spirit, I welcome your presence now in the name of Jesus. Have your way in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Today's uh, topic says small is big. Hallelujah. Small is big. And we thank God as in small. Yeah, is big. That's the word today. Small is big. Hallelujah. I want to read with you the book of Genesis chapter 1. Hallelujah. For Genesis chapter 1, I want to read 24 and 25. Then I move to Genesis uh, chapter 3 as well. Uh, Genesis chapter 1, I want to read 24 to 25. Hallelujah. Then Genesis chapter 3, I move down to Genesis chapter 3 as well. Genesis chapter 1, I want to read 24 to 25. The topic says, small is big. Small is big. Hallelujah. So I read uh, Genesis chapter 1, 24. Then God said, let the herd bring forth the living creature according to its kind cattle and creeping things and beasts of the earth each according to its kind and it was so in 25 of the same Genesis chapter 1 25 and God said the beast of the earth according and God made the beast of the earth according to its kind cattle according to its kind everything that creeps on the earth according to its kind and God saw that it was good and God saw that it was good then I want to move to Genesis chapter 3 in verse 1. Hallelujah. Genesis chapter 3 in verse 1. And I read, Now the serpent was more cunning than any beast of the field. If you have a Bible with you, remember any beast of the field. The word says the beast of the field. Now the serpent was more cunning than any beast of the field, which the Lord God has made. And he said to the woman, As God indeed said you shall not eat of the tree of the garden hallelujah then i want to quickly jump to exodus chapter 4 exodus chapter 4 i want to read 2 to 3 check exodus chapter 4 so i want to actually relate genesis and exodus together in uh in the word today concerning what we want to minister today and in exodus chapter 4 verses 2 and uh, 2 to 4 i read so the lord said to him what is that in your hand and he said a rod a rod we all know what a rod is a shepherd's rod hallelujah and he said a rod that was moses and in verse 3 and he said cast it on the ground so he cast it on the ground and it became a serpent and moses fled from it in verse 4 of exodus 4 then the lord said to moses reach out your hand and take it by the tail hallelujah and he reached out his hand and caught it and it became a rod in his hand so i want to quickly now jump to the book of uh, the same exodus chapter 7 i want to read from 10 to 12. you know i read genesis uh, then exodus now exodus chapter 7 i want to read from 10 to 12. i read so moses and aaron went to pharaoh and they did so just as the lord commanded and aaron cast down his rod before pharaoh and before his servant and it became a serpent hallelujah in verse 11 but pharaoh also called the wise men and sorcerers so the magicians of egypt they also did like uh, in like manner which with their enchantment hallelujah and then finally in verse 12 for every man threw down his rod and they became serpents but aaron's rod swallowed up their rods hallelujah aaron's rod swallowed up their rod hallelujah Father, Lord, bless your reign in this hour. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, minister to us in a different way. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, more powerful than ever. In the mighty name of Jesus, to you that be all the glory of God. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Small is big. That's the topic. Small as in big. 
small is big hallelujah and a lot might be wondering what this man talking about small is big hallelujah when we look at uh, from genesis that we have read it talks about the serpent and exodus also came with uh uh, uh 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 the beast hallelujah and the beast when you look at it god actually created all these hallelujah but something happened in the same exodus that we read hallelujah but before then uh uh aaron actually uh, aaron dropped this for the rod and it became a serpent God wanted to show them something about that. And the Bible said, even they, they all fled. But in verse 12, when God actually asked them to go before Pharaoh, in verse 11 of the same Exodus uh, uh, 7, the Bible says, and, and they actually cast their uh, rod on ground, and it became a serpent. Hallelujah. And, um, and Pharaoh and the magician also did the same thing. But in verse 12 of that word, every man threw down their rod. Every man threw down their rod, and it became a serpent. But Aaron's rod swallowed up their rods. Hallelujah. And this is where I'm going. Small is big. Hallelujah. In, when we look at a shepherd's rod, that's why God actually asked Moses, what is in your hand? Not what are you carrying? Hallelujah. When we're talking about what are you carrying, it shows that's a very big thing. But what's in your hand? That's very small. What are you carrying? Was quite different from what is in your hand. And God said to, uh, uh, he said, what, uh, to him, and said, what is in your hand? To Moses and Moses said a rod hallelujah and we all know about a shepherd's rod shepherd's rod are not that heavy mm -mm. let's look at it the shepherd's rods are not heavy at all they are very light and very small hallelujah but one thing I want to actually address here is small is big I'm still saying that small is big when 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 Aaron dropped down his rod hallelujah the Bible says the rod became a serpent a snake hallelujah a snake and, and, and Pharaoh and, and, and all the wise men and the magicians actually dropped their own rod as well. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter the size or the size of, of their rod. But one thing I know about a shepherd's rod is that that was, it's a very small and a tiny one just to navigate and direct the sheep. That's what it's meant for. So they don't carry the whole it. Hallelujah. But when they dropped it, it became a serpent and swallowed all other serpents. Hallelujah. All other snakes. And this is where I'm going. Imagine how small, how tiny that rod was. And imagine after turning to a snake, it swallowed all other serpents. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then imagine the small is big. Hallelujah. Though the rod so tiny, but big in the sight of the Lord. Hallelujah. Small is big. And when the rod swallowed all the all the serpents, are they all the snakes? Hallelujah. They brought, they actually picked the snakes up again and became a, a rod. Hallelujah. This is where I'm going. Imagine how small that rod was that swallowed all that rods or other serpents. Hallelujah. So in your life, what is small is also big. Hallelujah. And where I'm, what I'm talking about, I'm talking about our faith in Christ. Hallelujah. The Bible said, if it's like a monster sin, small is big. So no, water, no matter faith that you have, no matter how small the faith you have, it can actually move mountain as well. So the rod became a serpent. That was, that was faith. And the rod was so small, and it swallowed all other serpents. So small is big. Hallelujah. And the Bible said in, in the book of 2 Corinthians, in, in verse 10, and in uh, chapter 10 in verse 5. The Bible says, casting down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Casting down every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. Something is going to happen this very hour in my life and in your life. Hallelujah. No, Jehovah is going to prove himself this very hour in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to tell you again, small is big. It doesn't matter what is in your hand or what you are holding. God wants to make use of it. Hallelujah. God wants to increase your faith. Hallelujah. If for sure you have faith at all. But if you don't have, God is not looking for a mighty faith or bigger faith or a gigantic faith. Just a little faith. Hallelujah. The little faith proved himself itself in the life of Aaron and, and before the other magicians. A very little rod was dropped. And this little rod turned into snake and swallowed all other snakes. Hallelujah. So the small rod became big in the sight of men 
It was a rod. But in the sight of God, it was the power of the Lord. God actually proved himself. Because why? He actually created the snakes as well. The Bible says, to every beast of the of, of the heart, he created. And the Bible recorded it that a snake is a, is a beast. Hallelujah. And, and God looked at it. I created it. God, if it, it was something else, God would have actually actually uh, 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 turned the rod to be an anaconda. Hallelujah. To actually... A swallowed hole, but it wasn't an anaconda, it was just a snake. Hallelujah! A very small rod became a snake and swallowed all other rods or all other snakes. So small is big, and God is telling you and I this very morning, How is your faith level? Hallelujah! What well, is your faith level? How is it? Do you really have faith that God can use the small to be big in your life? Hallelujah. And to everything about faith, small is always big. Hallelujah. When we look at when we look at the Bible, study Bible in the in, you know, concerning uh, the, the two fishes and the two fish and and and, and, the, and the five loaves of bread. Hallelujah. You will see that the same thing small is also big. John chapter 6, when you study from, from 9 to 12, the Bible says, There was a lad who had five barely loaves and two fish. Hallelujah. Two fish and five loaves, hallelujah, of bread. And imagine when I was telling this, a lot more, no, no. It might even be that, that little boy's breakfast or or, 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 or or lunch at that very hour. Just two fish and five barely loaves of bread. It might be his break, uh, lunch at that very hour. I go and continue. Then Jesus said, make the people sit down. Hallelujah. Now there was, a, there was grass in the place. So men sat down in number about 5,000. Hallelujah. Without children or without, and without women. Hallelujah. And the same thing in verse 12. So when they were filled, he said to his disciples, gather up all the fragments and that remains so that nothing is lost. Hallelujah. Just only two fish and five loaves of bread. And it was, they, they actually collected it from a very young lad. It might be his breakfast at that very hour. It might be his even the uh, uh, dinner at that very hour or even the supper at that very hour. But the small became big. Hallelujah. Just two fish and five loaves of bread. The small became big. Hallelujah. In our life, we don't need, like I said earlier on, we don't need actually for, 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 for faith to actually be pouring down on the floor while we walk. Just a little seed of monster seed. I mean, it's powerful. So your small can be big, hallelujah, or even bigger than you can ever expect it. Even the same thing happened in, in uh, concerning the, the seven loaves and little fish as well. In The same thing in the book of Matthew chapter 15, where you study 33, uh, 35, 37, and 38. Let me read. Then his disciples said to him, where could we get enough bread in the wilderness to fill all this great multitude? Hallelujah. And Jesus said to them, How many loaves do you have? And they said, Seven and few little fish. Few little. The Bible actually said little fish. Hallelujah. So small can be big. And few little fish. So he commanded the multitude to sit down on the ground. So in, in verse 30, uh, 37 to 38, so they all ate and were filled. Everyone ate and were filled. But something happened there. And they took up seven large baskets full of fragments, uh, uh, yeah, fragments that were left. Now those who ate were 4,000 men, besides women and children. Hallelujah. Small is very big. I'm still saying it. Very little is very But something happened here. That a number of us, we, we saw when we read about, about the feeding of the 4,000 and the 5,000, there is a very small thing we, we, we don't actually see here. And let me tell you the small thing we don't see here. That's why I said small is big. In the same John chapter 6, in verse 11 of John chapter 6, the Bible says, And God actually took the bread and the fish, and God gave thanks. Hallelujah. God actually gave thanks concerning it. The same thing in the book of Matthew chapter 15 in verse 38. God, Jesus Christ repeated the same thing. He took the loaves of bread and the, and the few fish and he actually lifted it up and gave thanks. Hallelujah. For you to ever experience more is big. You must be able to give thanks with the little that you have. The little that you have is big. You might be seen as small, but the little that you have is so big. Hallelujah. Look at the way God actually displayed small is big. With, four, with, with five loaves of bread and two fish to feed 5,000 people. Very small. It, it was, it might be, like I said, the breakfast of that little boy or the lunch of that little boy. But the small became big. 
in the same or uh, uh, Matthew chapter 17, the same thing happened. Feeding of the 4,000 with seven loaves and few and little fish as well. Hallelujah. Small is big. Christ also gave thanks. Are you giving thanks with the little that you have? A Lord might be saying, Lord, I want, I want faith that can move everywhere. No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't work like that. God, a Lord might be saying, Lord, let my faith be so big. No, no, the Bible said it in Matthew 17, in 20, in 20 to 21. Jesus Christ said, Jesus said unto them, because of your unbelief. You see what I'm talking about? Because of your unbelief. A number of Christians to believe is very difficult now. They might be thinking what a small thing can actually, can a small thing produce a bigger thing or massive thing. Yeah, it happened in the scripture and it's still happening in the physical. Hallelujah. I have seen somebody with only 10 pounds gave it out and actually God gave him back in return 1,000 pounds. I have seen it clearly. Hallelujah. And Jesus Christ said to them, because of your unbelief, for I shortly I say to you, hear me well. Jesus Christ said, because of our unbelief, he said, I say to you, if you have faith as a monster seed, tiny and very small, if you've seen a monster seed, tiny and very small, for you to actually check what, what we're talking about, monster seed, you know, McDonald's, the bread on top of the McDonald's, all these little, little seeds are on it, just one. As tiny as a monster seed, you will say to this mountain, how many of you are actually saying to your mountain right now, you want a massive faith, a bigger faith before you can talk to a mountain, before you can talk to problems that are facing you. He said, he said, that he said, you will say to this mountain today, every single man and woman, they are going to say to the mountain of their life today, because your small is big. It might be very tiny uh, of faith, which is a monster, but it's going to perform wonders this very hour in your life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I continue. If you say to this mountain, move from here to there. Hallelujah. That was a command. God wants you to command. Hallelujah. He said, move from here to there. And it will move. Hallelujah. And nothing will be impossible for you. Imagine. Small is big. Nothing will be impossible for you. However, this kind does not go out except by prayer and fasting hallelujah you can only do this kind by prayer and fasting hallelujah a lord are so lazy to fast a lord can eat any single day in the uh, 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 during the time in in, in on, probably in under an hour four five times but god is saying to you and i this can only be done hallelujah through fasting a truth by prayer and fasting to move your soul, to make your small faith become a big, to, to actually produce a big thing in your life. It can only be done through prayer and fasting. And also in the book of James chapter 2, when you study 18 and 19, the Bible says, But someone will say, James 2, 18 and 19 to 20, But someone will say, you have faith. Yeah, a Lord will say, do you really have faith? And I have work. Show me your faith without your works. And I will show you my faith with by my words. You believe that there is one God. Listen to this. I love this word. He said, like, you believe that there is one God. You do well. He said, like, even the demons believe and tremble. But you do want to know. Do you do but do you want to know, oh foolish man? Faith without works is dead. Are you actually practicing your faith? Are you actually using your faith? Hallelujah. Concern the little that you have that is small to make it big. Hallelujah. Until when you start using it. Eh, you say you have faith but there is no work. The Bible says your faith is dead at that very hour. You must be able to prove your faith. Hallelujah. To every faith that is actually proving God actually manifesting it. In the name, God shows forth his power inside it. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter how little that faith is. It might like, like I said, a monster seed, hallelujah. Your small can be big at that very hour. You're actually asking for one thing, but by using that little faith, God can actually surround with everything of life, everything you ever needed in life. And small is big, hallelujah. Hallelujah. The devil deprived a lot of us, or a lot of believers, hallelujah, because of their unbelief. A lot of believers are, are so much deprived because of their unbelief. Hallelujah. Their faith wavers. Hallelujah. They will have faith on Monday and immediately before the close of or, or nightfall or, 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 or the morning on Tuesday, the faith is gone. Hallelujah. You don't need a giant or a mighty faith to move anything. You just need a small 
to make big. Hallelujah. A small to make big. Because small is always big. Getting a job, small is big. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter. Small is big. Getting married, small is big. Hallelujah. You go before the Lord, small is big. A number of people that are, that are actually looking for their spouse, they want to look for their own speck. Hallelujah. Not God's speck. They want to look for the ones that they are, you know, everything they ever they have they ever need in a man or in a woman. That's what they actually, but they've forgotten that. Small is big, hallelujah. You can actually go for everything you ever need in a man or a woman, and such a man might be so useless, and such a woman might be so useless. He might not, he or she might not even be your bone of your bone. Concerning your financial status, small is big. Irrespective of whatever you have in your account right now, if only you trust the Lord and you know that God can do great and mighty things in your life, God can actually give you another brand new job that will actually make your small to be big. Hallelujah. Those who are looking unto the Lord for the fruit of the womb, small is big. I know right now you might be saying, Lord, I am not pregnant. I've been waiting on the Lord for a number of Just lay your hands on your tummy. For small is big. That is a faith. A little faith can actually produce a massive, massive result. Hallelujah. And God wants to prove himself in our lives today. Hallelujah. Probably you're actually asking the Lord concerning your, your, your right to stay. You have submitted all. Challenge God concerning because small is big. Hallelujah. All that you submit them will be very little. But God wants to prove himself in your life. God really wants to prove himself in your life. Even in your home concerning your marital life. Probably it's shaking right now. God wants to prove that your small is big. You make use of that very little faith. And you will see what will actually happen in your life. What will happen in your situation. And it doesn't matter anything that you are going through in every ramification of life. Small is big. Hallelujah. God wants to prove himself to every servant of God, to every man of God or woman of God. You see them, God actually using them mightily. They, God is using them because of the little faith they so much they are holding on to and believing that God will honor. So every of your world, small is big. Hallelujah. A Lord could pray for about two hours a day. Yeah, I love, I love that. But some still pray for 30 minutes and their 30 minutes prayer is so much effective and God makes that very little time to be big in their life, to turn around situations in their life. Today, by the special grace of God, your small is going to be big. Greater things is going to happen in your life. Mightier things is going to happen in your life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hear me very well. For as the body without the spirit is dead, as the body without the spirit is dead. So faith without works is dead also. James 2.26 If you don't have faith, don't ever, ever think small is big. Small will be small. But with faith, your small is big. Hallelujah. To every man, everyone that is actually hearing me right now, I want you to stand up this very day, this very week, and go before the Most High God. That he make my small to be big. Hallelujah. You are constantly being deprived of your rights every single day. Because the faith, there is no faith and there is no work. Even if when there is faith, there is no work. Show me your work and I will show you my work with faith. Hallelujah. Faith with work. So you're small. And in the realm of the spirit, small is big. Hallelujah. And if you are not experiencing it, it is because you are not uh, thanking God by, by lifting up your hand with the little that you have. A Lord, we have little and they still want more. And instead of them to go before the Lord with that little, to tell the Lord, this small is big. The little that you have. When Christ turned the, 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 the bread and the fish, when Christ got it from the disciples, collected from, from his disciples, the Bible says, he lifted it and Christ gave thanks. Are you giving thanks to God concerning the small that you are holding? Are you thanking God for that, for that very reason that although very little, but in your heart of heart, you believe the little will turn to be a very mighty thing. Small is big. Hallelujah. Every single man, every single man that is hearing me right now, hear me well. You must be able to activate your faith. You must be able to make use of your faith. Hallelujah. Because God wants to do something in your life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And what God wants to do is to make the small to be big in your life. Today, by the special grace of God, I want to tell every single man, every single woman this hour, God wants to do things, mighty things in your life. But God is only looking onto your faith if it's like small as a monster's sea. Because small is big. Hallelujah. That's what God wants. And a lot have been deprived of their very right every single hour by the devil. 
Let the devil understand that yes, you and I, we are sons and daughters of the living God. And not only sons and daughters of the, we have accepted the totality of Christ as our Lord and the personal Savior. And not only that, and we believe in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. And not only that, and we believe that whatever we hold him will be small, but they are big. So God wants to, me to tell you, whatever you are holding right now, whatever you have been screaming and saying, God, what is going on? I don't increase in my finances. Not just tell the Lord. Small is big. All you need to do, and I want to ask as well, a number of us that are doing that, we want, we want increase in our finances, but we are not even a giver. We are not even a giver. Then how can you experience small that is big? The boy they took the bread and, and, and the fish from, the Bible never actually, the Bible didn't say, say to us that the boy started crying. The Bible never, we have, we, up till now, I have never seen in the Bible whereby the boy they took the bread from cried because they took the bread from him. I believe he gave the bread and the fish out willingly. Hallelujah. Willingly. And imagine the, the, the remnants that were left. Just five loaves of bread and two fish for 5,000 people someone else's breakfast or someone else's lunch he gave it out willingly are you giving things out willingly or when the moment you give it out you follow it up willingly are you actually doing your duties or your right in the kingdom of god willingly not forcefully are you honoring god with everything in your life everything you have willingly not forcefully small is big for you to experience the miraculous of god for you to see a change in life concerning your life, for you to see a move of God in your life, you must be able to honor the small that is big. You must be able to believe in the way with, with your totality in God. You must be able to address the situation and tell God, my small is big. And this afternoon, I want to tell you as a servant of the living God, I have experienced, I have experienced small is, is big in my life in numerous ways, numbers of ways. A number of us, we are so tight even in giving out. So tight in giving out. Then in exchange, how, what, what are you actually expecting when you're not giving? A lot might be praying unto the Lord, Lord, make me a millionaire, a billionaire. And what is still going on till now? Such prayer will not answered or never been answered. Because why? God sees your heart that even if you turn a billionaire and a millionaire, you will never remember the kingdom again. Man looks at the outward appearance and God sees the heart. That's why a number of Christians are still suffering right now. Pastors can see your heart and say, oh, you're a very genuine man of God, genuine woman of God, genuine uh, 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 church member. But in your own heart of heart, you do recognize yourself. And when you recognize that the same recognition is the same thing that God sees in your heart. Who you really are, small is big. Before you can experience it, experience such a thing, go before the most high God. The real widow of Zarephath experienced small is big. All that she had, she gave it out. The widow, the, also the, the wife of the prophet, the widow of the, the wife of the prophet that died, actually experienced small is big. When Elijah came there, he said, what do you have in the house? She said, just a little, a little jar of oil. And he said to her, borrow more, more barrels or more bottles or more, or, 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 or more drums. And the Bible says she went around borrowing and borrowing and borrowing. And later on, after the prayer, the Bible says that the sound of God said to her, go and sell it, sell some and keep the money and feed yourself and your children. Small is so big. So what is it you are holding? It was, it was Aaron's rod, as tiny as a rod is. These are what the, 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 the shepherds are using, actually are directing their, their sheep. As tiny as a rod is, God actually used a small rod, turn it into snake. Pharaoh also called his own magicians and, 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 and soothsayers and whatever they call themselves. And they also dropped their rod. But the rod of Aaron that turned into snake, and their also rod also turned into snake. But the rod of Aaron actually swallowed all other snakes. As tiny as a shepherd's rod is, swallowed all other ones. The tiny shepherd's rod 
was small. But the totality of God, the power of God, what makes God to be God in heaven, entered into that world to show forth himself in Pharaoh's life. Let God enter into every small areas of your life. Whatever small thing that you're holding on to and you're still believing God and saying, God, increase me. Just go before the Most High Lord. Lord, I believe and I know small is big. And watch the miraculous that is going to happen in your life. Watch the way God is going to transform your life. In as much you have faith concerning it. And you see the way God is going to prove himself in your life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So this very afternoon, I want to challenge every single man, every single man that is watching right now. Go before the Most High God and tell the Lord, make my small to be big. And when God makes your small to be big, God transforms your life totally. Hallelujah. And when the big comes, then you know that, yes, this can only be God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Never allow the devil again to deprive you of your rights and life. Never again. Because devil right from the beginning, devil has been a failure. And it's always, it's all, it will, it's continue to be a failure in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now I want to go before the Most High God. I want to pray right now. Hallelujah. Because it's very important. We cannot just hear this and not pray to every single man that is watching right now. You just want to go before the Most High God. We want to confess our, 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 our sin before the Lord right now. We want to tell the Lord, Father, Lord Almighty, have mercy upon my soul. In number of us, we need to confess our sin exhibiting occasionally doubt. You know, at times alive, we exhibit a doubt. Hallelujah. And say, Can, could this ever be? We want to go before the Most High. We want to tell the Lord, Father, Lord, have mercy upon my life. We want to tell the Lord concerning you, concerning my very person right now. We want to ask the Lord, Father, Lord Almighty, it's your mercy we did right now. Daddy, forgive us this hour in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We want to go before the Most High. We want to say, Heavenly Father, I thank you for the gift of life. The gift of life is so important. Hallelujah. Those who can only practice more is being are those who are alive. Hallelujah. Because you and I, we are very much alive. We can still practice that small. It is, it is big by faith. Hallelujah. So we want to go before the Most High God. We want to tell the Lord, Father Lord, I thank you for the gift of life. Hallelujah. For the sound health. Hallelujah. And the mental orderliness in my life. Hallelujah. Go before the Most High God. Thank God for the gift of life. Hallelujah. For your sound health. A Lord, a Lord woke up this morning and there no more. A Lord woke up this morning and immediately they rushed to the hospital. But concerning you and I, we are privileged to be alive. And the Lord, I pray that you will see me right now. And I'm also privileged to see your names right now. And this is a very wonderful and a great privilege. We want to go before the Most High God. We want to tell the Lord. Father, we just want to thank you for the gift of life. Begin to thank the Lord for the gift of life this very hour in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because as because you and I, we are still very much alive and know our small is going to be big in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Begin to thank the Heavenly Father. Lord, I want to thank you for the gift of life. I want to thank you for sound health, oh Lord, in my homes, in my life, in my, in my family. The same thing, thank the Lord concerning your life for the gift of life in your home, in your family. I just want to thank the Lord for that in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Even in the ministry of the Lord, of ministries all worldwide. I want to thank the Lord for the gift of life in the name of the Lord. For those who are serving God in truth and in spirit, Jehovah, I thank you for the gift of life in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And in any way, in any manner, I have sinned against you, Lord. Father, Lord Almighty, have mercy. Go before the Most High God with the one, the one knowingly or unknowing sin. Jehovah, Lord Almighty, have mercy in my life and in their life, O Lord, in this hour in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now I want to ask the Praise of the Lord, the, the God, the Father of the Father to fill us with, with his fresh anointing, fresh spirit upon our life right now. And pour a rain upon rain of anointing upon our life this hour. In the name of even as we engage into prayer this hour, ask for the fresh anointing of the Lord. Tell the Lord to pour the rain of anointing upon your life this hour, the power to pray and to break through. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because to every small in your life is going to turn to big in the name of the Lord Jesus. People will look at you and want to honor and serve the same God that you serve this hour. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Lord Almighty, fill me, O Lord, Father Almighty, with your fresh anointing this hour, the power to pray in the name of the Lord, the strength to pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and by faith, O Lord, I know, Lord, you will prove yourself in my life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ask the Lord to roar over your rights right now. Hallelujah. Ask the Lord to roar over your life right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, because our Lord is a, is a, is a consuming fire, and ask the Lord to roar right now over your life right now in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Is the Lion of the tribe of Judah. Let it roar 
roar over your situation right now. When a lion roars, every other animals far and near, they, they run away. Ask the Lord to roar over the affairs of your life this very hour in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ so that whoever wants to disturb your small to be big, hallelujah, will flee before your presence in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Begin to ask the Lord, Father, Lord Almighty, roar over the affairs of my life this very hour in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let them know that you are God in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ask the Lord right now to fill you with courage and strength, O oh Lord, to pray and break through today in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you have never prayed before or ever asked the Lord for courage and strength to pray and to break through, another thing is when you pray and you don't believe. Another thing is that when you pray and you believe. Hallelujah. Hey Lord, do pray and we pray amiss. So today you want to ask the Lord. Father, Lord Almighty, fill me with the courage and strength, O oh Lord, Father, to pray and break through this hour in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Energize me, fill me up, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ask the Lord to increase you greatly, to increase your greatness right now for his glory in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May you over this very hour increase your greatness for his glory only in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Make your small to be big in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May you over increase your greatness this hour in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. For small is big in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ask the Lord to renew your mind in his word this hour in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Jehovah, renew my mind in your word in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Another thing is that when you study the word of God, you are renewed every day in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord only taught that only when they get to church, that's when we study the word of God. No, the word of God, the, the Bible is the living word of God. Hallelujah. So begin to ask the Lord, Father, renew my mind, O Lord, Father, in your word today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every time you open the scripture, tell the Lord, renew my mind in his word. In the name of the Acts for the presence of the Holy Spirit to renew his mind in your life in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because God wants to do wonderful things in your life today in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every small in your life is going to be big in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ask the Lord to wear upon you the garment of holiness, the garment of mercy, the kind of uh, the, the garment of, of humility in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The garment of meekness and Lord suffering right now. Jehovah Lord Almighty, I ask you this hour or upon my life, O Lord, wear me, O Lord, with the garment of holiness this hour in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the garment of mercy, O Lord. Father, we are unto me this hour in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the garment of kindness, Lord, I decree. We are upon my soul this hour, upon my body this hour, the garment of humility, O Lord, Father Almighty, I request for you this hour in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the garment of meekness, O Lord. Father Lord, I request this hour in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let every spiritual weakness in your life this hour permanently be terminated in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every weakness in your life right now, I decree them to be permanently terminated right now in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. You will no longer be weak in your prayers in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You shall no longer be weak in studying the word of God in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So every spiritual weakness in your life right now, I command to receive a permanent permanent, uh, uh, permanent termination right now in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let a permanent termination come upon your spiritual weakness this hour in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says you are strong in the Lord. Hallelujah. So I decree right now, begin to be, be strong in the Lord in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let every spiritual weakness in your life right now remain terminated permanently in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ask the Lord right now to give you a childlike faith. Hallelujah. That easily believes. Hallelujah. That's one thing about faith. Your, your faith must be a childlike one that easily believes. Hallelujah. Ask the Lord to give you a childlike faith. Hallelujah. Easily to believe. Hallelujah. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Easily to believe and easily to forgive. Ask the Lord right now. The childlike faith that is in to believe, to trust, and to, to forgive right now. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Just go before the Most High God to as many that are watching me right now. I decree upon your life right now. May Jehovah give you the faith of a little child. Hallelujah. The one that is easy, that, that is easily to, to easily believe. Hallelujah. You know, a little child easily believes something. They easily forgive and let go. Today, by the reason of the anointing, I welcome such faith upon your life this hour in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare concerning your life this hour. Ask the Lord to give you faith that does not cease to see problems. Hallelujah. But sees you only in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. A number of you, we know number of Christians, we see problems. But when you have faith that does not see problems, but see Christ. Hallelujah. That faith is so solid that was made small to be big. Hallelujah. So ask the Lord this hour to give you a faith that does not see problems at all, that but only see Christ in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. To every problem that you are going through right now, I decree right now as the sound of the Lord, may you no longer see that problem, may you begin to see Christ move in that situation, in that problem right now, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God will bring honey out of the rock for you right now, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God is going to bring honey out of the rock for you right now, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Jehovah will open up to you all good doors, hallelujah, of your, of your, of your life and the, and the household of 
wickedness will be, never be able to lock it up again in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every good door God wants to open in your life that will actually terminate the presence of the house of the wickedness to ever move near that door right now in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Begin to decree by the power in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. I command all anti-breakthrough design against your life to be shattered right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Breakthrough comes into your life this very hour because you know why? Small is big. Hallelujah. And God wants to prove himself in your life. So I decree and I declare every anti-breakthrough design against your life this hour, I command it to be shattered right now, to be destroyed in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because small is big. I decree and I declare the power I command Holy Ghost fire right now to unseat all evil powers sitting upon your promotion this hour. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let the fire of the Lord right now, let it go forth right now to unseat every evil power that is sitting upon your right this hour. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare a sound of the living God. I welcome the Holy Ghost fire to unseat every power that is sitting upon every of your desires and life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Today, I counsel that power right now by the power in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Whatever is sitting upon your promotion right now, I come against it by the fire of the Holy Ghost right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I am done just saying it. I am commanding as a servant of the living God. Whatever power is sitting on every of your promotion, whatever power is sitting on every of your, 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 your moving forward in life, whatever power is holding you down this hour, I shatter them by the power of the Most High God right now in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because in my life, in your life, small is big in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Begin to claim back every of your inheritance presently residing in the wrong God right now. I decree and I declare every of your inheritance that is presently residing in the wrong God right now. I claim it back right now for you this hour in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Begin to claim it back right now. Every of your inheritance that is presently in the hands of the wrong ones. Today by the reason of the anointing, may Jehovah give you back in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May Jehovah honor you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May his face begin to shine upon your life in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Jehovah will plan good things in your life and will cause you to excel. Good things that will cause you ex to excel in life. Jehovah will plant into your life this hour in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The good thing that will cause you to excel. I command the power of the Lord right now to plant into your life right now in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Begin to excel in life because small is big. Hallelujah. By the reason of the anointing, I decree and I declare good things of life. May Jehovah plant in your life that will make you excel in life in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost fire right now. I decree the fire of the Holy Ghost right now to remove your name from the book of those who sees goodness and without tasting it. Hallelujah. Jehovah will remove your name from those who see goodness without tasting it. A Lord normally see goodness but never tasting it. Today by the special grace of God, Jehovah will remove away every power that wants you to see only goodness but never tasting it. Today by the reason of the anointing, you will begin to taste it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ because your small is big in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare as the sound of the I command to disperse whatever, whatever that is blocking the sunlight of your glory to, to break through, to release you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Everything that is blocking the sunlight of your breakthrough. Today by the reason of the anointing, I command that thing to disperse and fall right now and be destroyed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Whatever is actually blocking the sunlight of your breakthrough, wherever that thing is coming from or wherever that thing is standing right now, I challenge that thing in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I challenge that thing by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ and I command that thing right now to disperse and fall right now in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Jehovah will remove all human agents that are bent to, to, to stopping you from your glory. Everyone that is bent to stopping you from, from your advancing in life. May Jehovah remove them in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every unfriendly friend that is actually blocking or stopping you from, from your advancement in life. May Jehovah release them. May Jehovah hold them down in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I ask for the chain of the law to hold them down this hour in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every human agent that are bent to stopping your advancement in life. It might be a friendly friend. It might be from among family member. Whoever it might be right now that are bent to stopping your advancement in life. May Jehovah arrest them this hour in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let there be an arrest in the realm of the spirit concerning their life today in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. I decree arrest in the realm of the spirit right now concerning their life in the name of the Lord Jesus. Jehovah will smoothen your path to the top by his hands in the name of the Lord Jesus. Every of your path in life, I command Jehovah to smoothen right now in the name of the Lord. May you be lifted in the name of the Lord Jesus. You will no longer fall in life in the mighty name of the Lord. May Jehovah catapult you to greatness in the name of the way Jehovah catapult Daniel in the land of Babylon. May Jehovah catapult you to greatness in the name of the Lord. The way Jehovah catapult Joseph, Hallelujah. may Jehovah catapult you to greatness in the name of For small is big in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. For small is big. Jehovah will catapult you to greatness in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. The breath of life. I command Jehovah right now to breathe.
breathing in your life, the breath of life, hallelujah, that will turn the hands of your, or to, will turn your hand to overflow abundance, hallelujah, when the breath of life comes upon you, it becomes an overflow of abundance, may you begin to receive an overflow of abundance in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let the breath of life come upon your person this hour, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, for you to actually receive an overflowing abundance in the name of the Lord, for small is big, hallelujah, your faith as small as this mustard seed is going to work for you today, if only you believe in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, for small is big, and that small will take you to greatness, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare, the Lord God Almighty will come into your situation this hour, in the name of the Lord, and there's going to be a change for good, in your life, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, hear me very well, just like the widow of Zarephath, hallelujah, hallelujah, a divine, uh, divinity came into our life, today by the special grace of God, I decree and I declare, as the servant of the living God, may you receive a divine breakthrough, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the widow of Zarephath received a divine breakthrough. Hallelujah. And divinity came into her life. God actually heard her cry. Today, at the reason of the anointing, Jehovah will hear your cry. A divine breakthrough is coming into your life this hour in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The, the, the breakthrough visited her and her son. A visitation from heaven is coming upon your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I am not just saying it. I am commanding as a servant of the living God. Visitation from heaven is coming upon your life this hour in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. By the reason of the anointing, by the power in the blood of the Lord. No power will be able to stop that visitation in the mighty name of the Lord. May you begin to receive the glory of the Lord. Testimony will flow in your life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I rain down the fire of God upon whatsoever is contending with the knowledge of God, in of your greatness, in the name of the Lord. Everything that is contending with the knowledge of your greatness, everything that is contending with your moving forward, I rain the fire of God upon it right now in the name of the Lord. Holy Ghost fire in the name of the Lord. Come upon everything that is contending their greatness in the name of the Lord, whatever is contending you're being lifted up, I rain the fire of God upon you right now, in the mighty name of the Lord, you hear me very well My, your laughter will come, laughter will come into your life, gladness will come into your life, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, laughter will enter your life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the word Isaac says laughter, the power the, the name Isaac will enter into your life the meaning of Isaac said laughter, I command laughter into your life, gladness into your life, joy into your life, testimony into your life, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This very minute on our speed, whatsoever is making you to be depressed, make laughter come into your life. Let Isaac enter your life right now. In the name of the Lord, laughter come into your life. In the name of the Lord, you shall not be casual, you shall not be a casualty of war. In the name of the Lord, the battle of life, you shall not be a casualty in the battle of life. In the mighty name of the Lord, you will succeed in life, you will rise in life, you will be empowered in life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you shall not be a casualty in the, in the battle of life. In in the name of the Lord, you are a success. You are victorious. In the name of the Lord, in the battle of life, you will be victorious. In the name of the Lord, you shall not be a casualty, casualty in the battle of life. In the mighty name of the Lord, may Jehovah help you in every challenging situation in life. In the name of the Lord, everything man, man can say, yes, man only say things in vain. I will help, I will do this. These are just in vain. I ask the hand of the Lord to come into your life right now. Every man or man that are saying, I will help you, but these are vain words. Today, by the reason of the Lord, may you over enter into every challenging situation in your life. May the hand of the Lord lift you up this very hour. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we continue to trust in the name of our Lord our God. By the totality and by the power of the Most High God, I command and I decree and I declare every challenging situation in your life. May Jehovah lift you up. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let there be solution. In the mighty name of the Lord, I decree and I declare that in the day of your trouble, you will triumph because God will never, never leave or abandon you. In the mighty name of the Lord, in the days of your trouble, you will triumph in the name of the Lord. God cannot abandon you and God will not abandon you. In the mighty name of the Lord, Jehovah will terminate every counsel of the ungodly regarding your destiny. In the name of the Lord, every counsel of the ungodly regarding your destiny are terminated right now. In the name of the Lord, Jesus, a lot will call them strong. They are your four, five, and six, or six, and seven, your friend, but their counsel are not of God. So to every counsel of the ungodly in your life right now, may Jehovah terminate it right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May the hand of the Lord come upon your life right now. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I command growth upon your life right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, from today, I decree and I declare, by the strength of the Holy Ghost right now, your visions become sharper in life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, your testimony becomes real in life. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, from this very hour, I decree and I declare, as a servant of the living God, the Holy Ghost right now upon your life, to make your vision to be sharper in life. In the 
name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let your vision be sharper in life. In the mighty name of the Lord, you will not miss it in life. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, from this very hour, from today, Jehovah will empower your battle. Hey, my leka yanda rababa. The Bible says, "For you are my matulas, my weapon of war. With you, I will break nations. With you, I will pull down kingdoms. I decree and I declare from this very hour, may you over empower you for battle in the name of the Lord and teach your hands for war and your fingers for fight in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Empowerment comes upon you for battle in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Do you know why? Because small is big in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. By the reason of the anointing, whatever is before you this hour, I command the fire." of the Lord to swallow them up in the name of the Lord. What will never allow you to ex excel in life? What is blocking your progress in life? What is blocking your growth in life? Today, by the reason of the anointing, I command the fire of the Holy Ghost right now to lick them up right now in the name of the Lord. The way fire licked up water. By the reason of the anointing, any power blocking you this hour, any power blocking your growth this hour, blocking your moving forward this hour, blocking your testimony this hour, I ask the fire of the Holy Ghost right now to lick that power up right now in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. By the reason of the anointing from today, Nothing seems impossible in your life again. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. As impossible it may seem. Unlikely it may be. Jehovah will begin a new episode in your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the old are gone. Hallelujah. A new episode, Jehovah will begin in your life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I command every prison gatekeeper at, at, of your destiny right now to collapse right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Whoever, whatever is called a, 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 a prison gatekeeper that is standing and locking the door of your blessing right now, I command such a gatekeeper to collapse right now. And I command your door of destiny to be open right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let the door of your destiny be open. In the name of Jesus, the door of your destiny be open. It belongs to you. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the door of your blessing, I decree to be open right now. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let me open right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let me open right now. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let it be open right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I release you right now as the sound of the living God. From every family stronghold that is pinning you down. Every family stronghold that is pinning you down. I challenge that stronghold in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Spirit. Every family stronghold that is pinning you down right now, I decree, I declare a release upon your life this hour. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let a release come right now. In the name of the, be set free in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Whatever stronghold is pinning you down right now, be set free in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Be set free, be set free. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, whatever stronghold is holding you down, whatever stronghold is pinning you down, I command a release right now. Not only a family stronghold, it might be any stronghold, whatever they call. Let there be a release right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let there be a release in the heavens right now. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you are sons and daughters of purpose right now. I command a release right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let there be a release right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, let there be a release right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, whatever will not allow you to fulfill purpose in life, let there be a release right now. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let there be a release. May Jehovah never let you cause anyone to stumble in life. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Not only to stumble at all. May Jehovah never allow you to make anyone stumble or to leave faith. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. A number of us that are Christians, we, 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 we make other people stumble in order to, to, to even leave faith. Ah, may such a thing never happen in your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It will be a great sin. When you actually make others to leave faith, make others to worship, to 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 worship, uh, uh, to leave faith by worshiping God and move away from faith, and serving God. May Jehovah never allow you to stumble in life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May Jehovah never allow you to stumble in life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Stumble in the life of others to make them leave faith. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. When the saints are being counted in heaven. When saints are being counted in heaven, you know your heart. I know my heart. When saints are being counted in heaven, may I be numbered among them. I don't know about you. When saints are being counted in heaven, may I be numbered among them. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
May my family be numbered among them. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That is that's a that's a belief now. Because small is big. When saints are counted in heaven, may I and my family be numbered among them. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, from the bottom of our heart, O Lord, we worship you. We give you all the glory, you alone are God. Thank you for this very word, O Lord, because we know that small is big. Thank you because you are holy. Thank you because you are God. We bless your name this hour, O Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We lift up your name on high, O Lord. Even our small, Father, we live before you this hour, O Lord. Father, turn it to be big in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The very little we have, O Lord, by faith we believe. That God may minister into it, O Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let our small be big. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we give you all the glory, Lord. We give you all the honor. As many that are hearing the voice, my voice this hour, O Lord, begin to give God all the glory, all the honor. All the adorations right now belongs to Him because He's God. The one who makes our small to be big. The one who entered into the affairs of our life right now and troubled every ocean right now. The one who silenced every power of hell right now in our life. Begin to worship him, begin to give him all the glory. He's God. For small is big. Daddy, we thank you. We give you all the glory. You're wonderful. Thank you so much for your faithfulness. Thank you for your love. For your mercy. For your grace. Thank you for this wonderful new week, O oh Lord. Because there shall be showers of testimonies, showers of blessing in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you because only you are God and only you can do what no man can do. Father, in our lives, O oh Lord, in this new week, do what no man can do in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Step into our small and make it big, Lord. Thank you, Daddy. Those who are sick right now by his stripes, you are healed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Those who are confused right now, I welcome the counsel of the Holy Ghost upon in your life right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May the Holy Spirit begin to counsel you this hour in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the love of our children, O Lord, I soak everyone in the pool of the blood of Jesus. They are your heritage, O Lord. Small is big. Father, make them glorious, O Lord. No stopping them, O oh Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hell cannot hold them down. Satan cannot speak into their life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All our children will excel in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The grace of God I decree upon their life in the name of the Lord Jesus. Nothing will stop them in the, in the, on the journey to greatness. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Daddy. For those who are actually looking unto the Lord for their right, O oh Lord, Daddy, make their small be big. About two weeks ago, a week and a half now, someone called me. She she was given this letter and the, the paper one and picture. I forgot what you call it. And just went to renew. Three months that paper and that. For the first time. To renew, they gave her a 10 years. Even in days of 70 days fasting and prayer. Write your testimony down. We all listen to testimonies on the 20th of December. Write it down. It's going to be a testimony galore in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Those who are still believing the Lord for testimonies, hear me very well. Your small is big in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God will do tremendous things in our lives in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. No power is given, no evil, no power of Satan or the devil is given the authority to ever mingle or enter into our lives again. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, I give you all the glory, O God. Thank you because you are a wonderful Father. Thank you because you are a loving God. We appreciate you. We give you all the glory. We bless your name, O Lord. Thank you for the love of Pastor Wally, O Lord. Yesterday was his birthday. Thank you, Lord Almighty, for giving him long life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
Thank you for the grace of God upon the life, upon the entire family. And to those who actually celebrated their birthday yesterday, I decree the glory of the Lord in their life, Sister Edith Yamu. Uh, I decree the glory of God in your life this hour in the name of Jesus. You will see many more years on planet Earth in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I'm thanking you for those who are celebrating their birthday today, O oh Lord. May Jehovah empower you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Many more years in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Years of fulfillment, years of glory, years of testimonies in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Dad, because you're wonderful. To you, Dad, be all the glory of God. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Your small is big. The small is big. And God is going to transform our lives in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I just want to appreciate the Lord concerning everyone's life. It's a privilege, I believe, by the special grace of God. This coming Sunday we'll all meet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah in the church. God bless you. We'll all meet in the church. Hallelujah. This coming Sunday by the special grace of God. God is wonderful and God is glorious. We bless the Lord in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Whoever wants to give me a call, let it be from 7 because I'm going to sleep now. Hallelujah. And please, I will not pick any call. That's just the truth. Hallelujah. I'm going to sleep right now. I will not pick any call. And that's just the truth. Hallelujah. God is going to strengthen you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Faith will work for you in the mighty name of the Lord. God bless you. Faith will work for you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And it shall be well with you all the days of your life. In the name of Jesus. Larola, come God bless you in the name of Jesus. I stand God bless you in Jesus' name. Uh, there is a uh, uh, blessing, God bless you in the name of Jesus. Esther, it is well with you. Okuna, joy, God bless you. And Reniko, God bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every bring God bless you in the name of Jesus. In the mighty flame, favor, blessing, God bless you. I appreciate you too. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Yeah, she is doing great. Also, I brought her God bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The joy of the Lord is your strength in the name of Jesus. In this very wonderful new week, just stay positive. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. Happy birthday. In the name of Jesus. And Benito, God bless you. It is well within the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Joy to God, God bless you. As my daughter doing, God bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is well with every single one of you. Have a wonderful day and a glorious new, brand new day. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This brand new day is going to command your small to be big in the name of Jesus. Favor Jonah, God bless you. Uh, favor blessing, God bless Evangelist Elizabeth, God bless you in the name of Jesus. Uh, Esther, God bless you on this Sunday. Um, God bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Julie Waters, God bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This brand new week is going to bring testimony in your life in the name of Jesus. Dickness, oh, God bless you in the name of Jesus. And it shall be well with you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Yes, the joy of the Lord is my strength. See me on a lack of God bless in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God richly bless every single one of you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Kingsley, God bless you. God bless you in the house in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, I will do. God bless you too. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Finally, just stay safe. That's the most important thing. Cynthia Kiyomi, God bless you. Stay safe. Pilechi Thomas, God bless you in the name of Jesus. Just stay safe in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we're all made on Sunday by the special grace of God. Hallelujah. And tired of sitting down. Hallelujah. For many weeks now. Over six weeks now. Hallelujah. I really miss every single one of you and God sees my heart. Hallelujah. But I know by the special grace of we're all made in good faith in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God richly bless you. Have a wonderful, blessed, and a glorious week in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Love you too in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. In your closet, just remember my son, my family as well. In your prayer, probably about 20 seconds will do. And we will all appreciate it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is well, like I said, if one will give me a call, make it probably around 6 30. Hallelujah. Because right now I'm not going to pick any call. I want to go and sleep. Hallelujah. It's very important. God bless you. Hallelujah. But I love you all. It is well with you. Extend my regards to your family, brothers, sisters, mothers, and fathers. Tell them I love them as well. It is well. God bless you. And let us try as much as possible to share this video so that all can be a party. Come for this blessing. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. Everyone. Have a wonderful day. In Jesus' mighty name.